Hey y'all, it's Jaeger back here with you. Today we're talking about how you can get better photos in harsh lighting conditions, and we're gonna talk about the weirdest soda flavors in the world of Coca-Cola as we go non-alcoholic for the first time today on Shots with Shots. During the process of buying these uh, sodas here, the vanilla Coke, cherry Coke, orange vanilla Coke, this guy and the Target, I got a 12 pack on sale, 333 a piece, not a bad sale for a 12 pack. And he's like, Coke is getting crazy with their soda flavors. And I'm just kind of like, really? Is it, is it, is it that crazy? Uh, like in the grand scheme of crazy is orange vanilla, the thing that's like, yeah, they're out of control. I am going to go over some reasons why orange vanilla Coke's not really the most radical thing Coke's ever done. It's gonna be one of those weird, crazy lighting situations where I got shadow and then I'm in bright light, which we're talking about in a few more minutes in this video, so more on that later. So Coke actually sells over 500 products in 200 countries. In 1985, they tried New Coke, which failed, which is why the original Coca-Cola Classic label had to come back. Okay, Soda took place from 93 to 95, and that is probably worth its own video and also one of the bigger failures in advertising, which to me kind of makes it an interesting thing. Recently, authorities have asked OK Soda to respond to allegations that the television chain letter is some sort of secret code. Nothing could be further from the truth. The Sprite Remix powder packs, which was powder that you can add to Sprite to flavor it. There was Tab Clear in 1993, which some say was used to sabotage clear Pepsi because they both competed over which one was the more bland flavor despite the Pepsi making that limited time comeback not too long ago. And we're living in a world where there is a drink called Beverly from Coca-Cola and this one is pretty much marketed as just being terrible. Seriously, that's like their whole kick, taste how bad it is. That's a lot of advertising lessons to be learned here. So now getting back to these three drinks, Cherry Coke apparently has been updated. It still tastes good to me. Vanilla Coke tastes the same it did when it came out in 2002 and then went away in 05 and has come back to the States to be on sale ever since like 07. Orange Vanilla Coke is the first new flavor from Coca-Cola America to be released in a decade and it does have that creamsicle flavor of orange vanilla. Zero brand is pretty much the zero you've come to know and have the kick that you've come to know and actually might prefer the zero slightly better. However, they're both definitely drinkable. They're both uh, soda. Now you see me squinting and having all these problems with lighting. Let's talk about that here in the second part of this video. Trying to take photos in these harsh lighting conditions where there's shadows all over everything. And we've got a few tips to share with you on what we learned on how to pull off these kind of photos. Using reflectors or diffusers if you have them is a great way to be able to handle and manage some of the light and get a little bit more control back in your photos. Now this isn't always practical for running and gunning the kind of photos and videos that I like to shoot, but I have used reflectors and they make a ton of difference. You see them work right there in real time, right in front of your eyeballs. Turning your body can be a totally different look as far as how light's gonna react. Like I'm a tad bit uh, blown out here, but step over just a little bit and <laughs> A little bit better exposure. A quarter of a turn, anything at all can help you get a little bit better exposure when you're out here in these harsh lighting conditions. Another tip that's also hopefully possible is just change your location a little bit more. For example, here in these photos on that layer, on the east side of the castle, way too harsh light. Suddenly moving across the hallway, all of six feet, we were able to shoot from the other side, get way more even exposure across this image. Sunglasses are pretty much your friend. Why is that? Because those harsh lighting situations that can be hard to open your eyes. We'll do this thing where we'll go three, two, one, open your eyes or whatever 
terminology you want to use when a model might be looking directly into the sun and it just it creates this like squinting thing in the forehead and all that but for all this in our free guide to posing that's available right now at photo17.com and if you want to join our new photography group that we just started like this week <laughs> entitled the shot callers on facebook join there i have all these kinds of tips and tricks available right there for you absolutely free just photography questions to me or anybody in the group that can help Whatever the question is, photography video related, I will definitely respond and try to help out if I can. Okay, let's jump into Lightroom. I'm gonna show you how to edit some of these harshly lit photos. And now we are fully jumped all the way into Lightroom, or at least just this menu that we're gonna stick with on the right side. I'm starting with the tone curve because I feel like the tone curve is the most powerful tool possibly in Lightroom, and I'll still use the sliders as well in the photos. All the way to the right is gonna be our highlights. I'm bringing those down for sure. And now I feel like going back up here to the exposure to adjust the overall exposure before getting to a more finely tuned detail area of the image. Also the highlights, that looks good there. Now going into the radio filter section, I'm gonna put this over my buddy Mackie Pack's face to try to get a little bit more even appearance in the light and dark area of shadows of her face before making another overall adjustment in just a few seconds. And this is just a bit of trial and error right here, trying to see where to go, lighter, darker. And I also like Photoshop for this process too, but we're sticking to Lightroom right here to try and get this appearance, keeping it all in one app. Some more tone curve adjustments to try and get the colors somewhat more even and not so blown out. And this is completely unnecessary. I just decided to do a split toning on this photo just to add some stylized look. And here's a little bit of before and after action for you. And that's it, you were done and we've helped fix this harshly lit photo. Let me know if you tried any of these sodas from today or if you're gonna try any of these harsh lighting photography tips and tricks and hit that like button if you like to subscribe to never miss a shot from JaegerShots.com.